once I started focusing on commercial construction, while it was a benefit to my residential clients, I had to be careful because commercial prices would be a little bit higher than the residential prices. So you could, you, I would do your house, but you would get commercial contractors doing your house, but it would be costing you a little bit more. Right. Also in the same way, I never did flip homes. And the reason why is because, and I, I tell this to friends, they're like, oh, they're like, Narisha, you do construction. Like, I'm thinking about flipping a home. You don't want my people then. Because you d- if you are flipping a home, then you're looking to, like, get a return on value. So you're trying to invest the minimum amount. And that's just a different type of contractor that is doing that than someone who is doing commercial-grade work. A hundred percent. It is <clears throat> completely different when... You are looking at something and saying, okay, this toilet is not working. Let's change out the guts versus changing out the toilet. Right. It's totally two different frame of minds. Yeah. And as a homeowner, you have to know which one you're in. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to be there for a long time, Mm -hmm. you're going to be in the one that's going to say, no, let's change out. Let's upgrade the toilet. Right. Let's let's make that investment for us to enjoy. Mm -hmm. And some people just want it to work mm-hmm. and they're going to go the cheapest route because they're going to say, we're going to be in this house for three or five years. Mm-hmm. And we don't care. And yeah. I will tell people when, so when they say things like I'm only going to be here for three to five years and they're like, and we're going to get this $4,000 clawfoot tub. I'm like, no, you're not. Yeah. It does not make sense to <laughs> you're not like, you're not going to get that money back. And I get that this will look like, it. no, we're not doing that. Yeah. And that's, I have the conversation with my wife time and time again. Whenever we're trying to do stuff, I want to do it right the first time. And she's like, okay, but are we doing this from a long-term or a short-term point of view? Mm -hmm. Because if it's a short-term point of view, let's just put lipstick on it and move on. Right. Let's not give it a whole facial. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, but, and she's like, no, no, no. What's what's the end goal here? Let's think with the end in mind. Let's not think with just doing, okay, this toilet is purely functional. If you want a nicer one, We'll get a nice one, but don't expect to get your money back on it. Right. It's a sunk cost at that point. Right. You're not going to spend X X amount of dollars on a home and expect to get one plus X. You know, like it's, it doesn't work that way. Mm -hmm. So from a residential perspective, it's all about your end goal. Yes. Short term versus long term. Commercial is, we need it functional. We need it usable. And we don't want it to fall apart. Yeah. (laughs) You know? And, and who are the clientele in it, right? Yeah, because it, it could be short term or long term, but if it's got children in it, then we've got to talk about safety. And we need durability. Yes, we need it to last. Right, even if it, even if long term is one school year, right? How many marble stones are they gonna drop on this floor? <laughs> you know, how, what are they gonna drop? What are they gonna paint on the walls? We need good paint. We need good material. Like it's a hundred percent. It's mm-hmm. what's your what's your cycle? Yes, you know. Can we get through a one school year and then fix whatever we need to in the summer? Right. And then what's the repair cost? Mm-hmm. You know, is it going to cost us an arm and a leg to just maintain this thing because we put cheap material, we had a cheap input? Well, so, okay, remember going back to the CMAR process where, I'm, yeah. where we talk about stuff? So, like, one of the conversations we're having is, okay, we're doing metal panels, but do we want metal panels on the bottom of the building? And do we want um, artificial turf or do we want grass? Because if you have grass and someone cuts the grass and a rock hits the metal, then we're talking about like what the repair of the metal looks like. Like these are all the conversations that are taking place. That's why I like the CMAR process. Yeah. Because you're able to work through it and not just. Talk about like what are the, what is this? And and we may say like, hey, yeah, we're fine with that. gets damaged. Okay. Now do you have the staff capacity to do the maintenance that comes from this? Okay. So artificial turf like has less maintenance. Okay. Then. We're, it may cost it may cost more on the front end, um, but it may be less in long term in terms of like maintenance. Yeah, you don't have to have a full maintenance crew cutting the grass every week. You don't have to have them spraying weed and feed here and there. It's just right. it's a lot you easier know. to operate with a front end investment that's larger. Yeah, hundred percent.